So genetic counseling is um, a medical subspecialty in which the medical provider is trained on um, the science of genetics, understanding genetic diseases, why they occur, testing that can help diagnose it, while at the same time taking very good care of our patients um, who experience those things and helping them navigate it emotionally as well. So the psychosocial aspect, the medical aspect, and they're sort of married together. Well, I guess in the ideal world, um, a genetic counselor um, might meet a family, if we're talking about a pediatric genetic counselor, um, at the first visit, you know, a genetic counselor might be part of the medical team and really provide um, support as well as factual information about what is going on at the time. So you might be helping the family understand the diagnostic odyssey, the diagnostic workup. Some families are searching for a genetic diagnosis. Others find out relatively early um, in, their, in their child's care what the diagnosis is. But helping families understand the testing, the results, and then not just understand it um, um, education-wise, but in terms of understand it emotionally. What is this going to mean for our family? What is this going to mean for the grandparents, for the siblings, and those kinds of things? Um, when families receive a genetic diagnosis, there's this loss of the typical child, right? You know, you, 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 before and after, before the diagnosis and after the diagnosis, there's that turning point in a family's life. And I feel that genetic counselors, because they have this genetic understanding of that, can act more as the therapist as well um, and, and really be in the best of both worlds to help that family. So you would travel with them through that, the loss of the typical child, um, grief, anger, the stages of grief, really, um, denial. This isn't really happening to us. Um, you know, um, the anger that they experience. Sometimes it's a challenge to the couple, uh, the male and female response to that, helping them navigate that in their marriage. Um, and then finally, acceptance, then living with a genetic condition and the choices that families have to make.